for disorderly conduct. He said he just wanted to share some love after going through a rough year. All right, President Obama says healthcare.gov should work for the vast majority of Americans by the end of this day, but keep in mind it is not likely that someone's going to switch the, the, the switch overnight, and presto, it works. Officials warn there will be more glitches, but they add the website should be able to handle 50,000 users simultaneously. The president told ABC's Barbara Walters that years from now, people will remember Obamacare's benefits, not the website. A lot of the criticism is personal. Yeah. Um, people just don't think you're trustworthy. Well, I don't think that's true, Barbara. The, the, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that I got reelected in part because people did think I was trustworthy and they knew I was working on their behalf. All right, this is a discussion. Let's bring in our panel, commentator Ben Ferguson, a conservative radio host based in Dallas and here in Atlanta, Jason Johnson, an HLN contributor and political science professor at Hiram College. So, you know, Jason, the first question to you, if this works, that's great for the president, right. but if it doesn't, what does that mean politically? Nothing for him right now. He got reelected. And, and that's the most important thing to remember. I mean, Obama got reelected, just like he said last night. He got reelected running on this plan. So the website's not working right now. Neither the Travelocity when it started. I mean, at some point, this will be fine. I, I think what surprises me is for a president who was so tech savvy during the campaign, I can't believe he screwed up this bad. But mm. months from now, it won't be an issue. Ben Ferguson, what are your thoughts? Well, I think it is going to be a big issue. It's called being a lame duck president. I mean, when you get elected or, or reelected, he's supposed to have an agenda for four years, and he's not getting his agenda done. And the other issue is you have a lot of people that trusted the president when they reelected him because he said Obamacare was going to be so great, even if the website does get up and working perfectly. You've got a sticker shock issue now. People were told this was affordable health care, and they're finding out that for many Americans, it's not affordable health care. And that's the reason why you see so many Democrats now distancing themselves before the midterms from the president. And, and you've got a lot of young people that were needed to getting, they had to get this health insurance for the algorithms to work. And a lot of young people now are saying, I'm not interested in Obamacare. I'm not interested in it because it costs a lot more than I was paying before. And they're walking away. And that's his biggest issue right now. All right, guys, I want to talk about these new CNN ORC poll numbers. Uh, fewer than a quarter of those surveyed feel that the economy is recovering. 36% say it has stabilized. 39% say it's getting worse. So with the stock market doing so well, why this pessimism? It's not surprising. Main Street and Wall Street never get along. I mean, you know, the stock investors can make tons of money because of investment, but that doesn't mean people's jobs are changing. And I think the big issue here for Republicans and Democrats in the midterm, if people think the economy is bad during Christmas season, it's not going to get any better come spring. This is usually when people are feeling more positive. So I, I think Republicans and Democrats really need to work together over the next year to fix this, or there's going to be a problem in Congress. Yeah, Ben, this disconnect, this disconnect is, is literally yeah. glaring. You can't, you can't turn away from it. Right. No, you can. And I think one of the biggest problems here is you have so many young people that are still seriously suffering and those that have been living close or at the poverty line aren't getting the help they need. I mean, we've doubled the number of people in this country since Barack Obama's been president that are on food stamps. The question is, that's not a success. That's a failure. Keeping people or adding people to the roles of poverty is not something that is a good thing for this country, even though some have tried to play it that way. And, and so you look at this and you see people that are working hard, that have gone to college, that are on Wall Street, they're doing fine. But there's a lot of Americans that have been left behind. And I think partly because the president's policies and what he did is not working, because otherwise you wouldn't be adding all these people to food stamps. Jason, you're shaking yeah, the your reality hands. Is. You're shaking your head, but, but I mean, he's, he's making a good point here, Look, isn't he? The point is the economy is lousy, and there are lots of things that Barack Obama hasn't done. But when you only have one half of Congress that ever wants to work on a regular basis, it's very hard to determine. We never got to see what Obama's sort of infrastructure plan would look like because the Republicans in Congress didn't want to do it. We never got to see no. how these health exchanges would work if the states actually got involved as opposed to everyone going to the federal site. I'm the last person to say Obama's Jason. perfect, but we can't see the entire job here if half of Congress just wants to stop him. Ben, I hear you chiming in. What do you have you, to say? You had, a, you, you, had a, you had a president of the United States of America when elected, had an overwhelming majority in the House and the <clears> Senate, and for two years he had a run of Congress, that was four and years they were ago. able to enact everything. Hold on. They were able to enact everything that they wanted to, and the American people rejected it during those midterms, and they've continued to look at his policies and, and said, got we gave in them a legitimate shot. They gave, they gave it a realistic shot here, and the question is, 
a lot of Americans are saying, am I better off today than I was five years ago? And for a lot of Americans looking in this poll, they're saying, I'm not better off today than I was when Barack Obama became president. Right. And they reelected him last year because they clearly thought that as failed as some of his policies appear to be, he was still a better option than Mitt Romney. Look, we got to look at this realistically well, thought, and from the look, middle. They, and the idea is that Barack Obama is the best of perhaps worst options. Look, I think he did a great job in his reelection, and the reason why he did so well is because he promised people affordable health care. He did not deliver on that. He promised you to keep your doctor. He didn't deliver on that. He promised you to keep your plan. He didn't deliver on that. So we're, the real world is now the president's in trouble with the economy and with his campaign promises that got him reelected. Right, okay. guys, I've got to wrap you. We've got to wrap you <laughs> there. Got to put the arm up. Thanks to both of you, Ben Ferguson, CNN political commentator, and uh, Jason Johnson, HLN contributor. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Thanks for having us. All right, still